Stage three of the learner period is about practicing new driving skills in more complex situations. Main roads, busy roundabouts and intersections, high speed roads, night driving. These are the sorts of environments learners should encounter in stage three. Stage three is also the time to practice driving in a range of weather conditions at different times of the day in order to use those new driving skills effectively. Well, Lou started driving to her violin classes uh, twice a week and on the way home the sun has gone down so that gives her an opportunity to drive at night. You'll be driving on busier roads in stage three. It's a bit scary at first. Whole family went to visit my sister in the city down the Calder Highway onto the Western Ring Road merging lanes, passengers in the car for the first time. That was an experience. Come on, it was all right. Yeah, he handled it well. Oh, more stressful, I reckon. We had a few moments in peak hour traffic. We were surrounded by cars and trucks and Tim was getting jumpy. So when we were stopped at the lights, I'd give him a few hints for things he could do once we got moving again, um, like checking a few cars ahead to prepare to brake and checking your speedo and looking for safe gaps in the traffic. Just things to look out for when he's out driving on his own. It was definitely more challenging and difficult for me. I remember my first time driving around in that massive roundabout in the city because there were so many signs, so many exits, so many trams, everything together. Yeah, that's I right. I just got so confused. That's right, I had to, uh, well she was very hesitant and I had to keep her calm and uh, encourage her to take the turn. Well they'll face new situations. The first time he did a long drive at night he went pretty quiet. Just concentrating I guess. The fun part about this stage was helping to plan my own trips. I thought, hmm. Let's go shopping. Many learners use professional driving instructors as part of their 120 hours of practice. An instructor can help with specific skills and advice as to when it's okay to move into busier traffic or onto freeways and rural roads. Towards the end of stage three, Tim started to get a bit ahead of himself. He uh, thought he knew it all. I had to, uh, he was getting too close to other cars in traffic. I had to tell him to leave some more space in front. I didn't want him getting into bad habits. We had a scare, a guy in front slammed on his brakes and we nearly hit the back of him. It was a bit of a shock, but gave Tim a good lesson. That was to see how things were in reality, in the real world. It wasn't just taking my word for it. Yeah, she wasn't indicating long enough before changing lanes on the freeway. We got home and had a bit of a talk about it and talked about indicating long enough so that drivers can, so that drivers know what you're about to do. After that, she was much better. Overconfidence is a major issue in stage three. They get a few hours of driving behind them. They start trying to push boundaries. If they don't listen, you tell them to pull over and wait. They get the drift pretty quickly. In the latter part of stage three, she started planning her own route and doing her own navigation. And so my role became more that of a mentor. But he still kept trying to give me orders. I did, I did give her tips. Um, it was hard to relinquish control, but uh, I gradually gave her more responsibility as, she, uh, as her skills developed. I mean, time is a real issue. If you get home from work and you can't be bothered taking them for a practice session, and they can't be bothered either, well then you just say, okay, tomorrow then? But you've just got to keep at it and try not to make excuses. Otherwise, they're just going to lose the skills they've already got. In fair weather, wet weather and at night, Learners should be able to safely enter busy traffic, handle high speed roads, lower quality roads, main roads, busy roundabouts and intersections, turn at lights across oncoming traffic, select safe gaps and following distances, change lanes and overtake, drive at a safe speed, plan their own trips and detect and avoid potential hazards. If they can do all these things consistently, not just every now and then, that means it might be time for the next stage. If you're unsure, consider using a driving instructor to check if your learner is ready to move on to stage four.